Welcome to another how-to video from Sportsplay Equipment. In this video, we will show you how to assemble the 501-121 Superdome Climber. Please refer to the written assembly instructions that come with this product. Instructions can also be downloaded from the Sportsplay website or by calling our customer service department or your local Sportsplay distributor. The written assembly instructions provide a detailed parts list and detailed illustrations. Begin by sorting all braces into groups by color, black, yellow, brown, green, and orange. A container will be useful to sort and hold bolts, washers, and nuts. Use the color-coded installation key as a guide to lay out the Superdome starting with the outer bottom rows of braces. This will require a total of 5 yellow color coded braces and a total of 15 black color coded braces. Once the bottom row braces have been placed in order, begin to connect them together with the next rows of braces using the button head bolts, washers, bolt caps, lock washers, and hex nuts. Continue to refer to the color scheme of page 4 of the instructions for proper placement of the color coded braces. As you continue to add braces going around the climber, you may find it helpful to rest the partially assembled row against your lead to keep it propped up. Be sure to assemble all joints loosely until the entire climber is completed. Always position bars where ends point up on bottom so that ends of bars pointing down are on top. As additional rows of braces are assembled, moving toward the top of the dome, it may be helpful to have one person on the inside of the dome while the other works from the outside of the dome. Continue assembling the joints of the dome, continually referring to the color scheme on page 4. Again, do not tighten any joints at this stage. Higher on the dome, the structure will begin to support itself as additional rows are added. Do not tighten any joints. As the dome grows taller, it may be easier to work from the inside of the climber. Working steadily, the dome was soon near the top rows.
The dome continues to grow with each additional row. Assembly continues. Near the top, it can get a little tricky and patience is a virtue. Depending on the height of the installers, a 6 foot step ladder makes the assembly process much easier to do. At last, the top row nears completion. Here five green color-coded bars come together to complete the dome. Note that the loose joints allow flexibility to align the final connection. At this point, begin to work around the structure from the bottom up to tighten the bolts with the button head bolt socket key. Place a bolt cap over the button head. After the entire dome is tightened and assembly complete, cut off ends of bolts so that no more than two threads extend beyond face of nut. Be sure to file and remove any sharp edges. The completed assembled dome should be permanently installed with 20 concrete footings 9 inches in diameter and 18 inches deep. Dome anchors are provided in the hardware. Refer to the footing diagram in the written assembly instructions. Resilient surfacing should be used under all playground equipment. Affix the warning label and manufacturer's identification label to complete this installation. Please visit us online at www.sportsplayinc.com.